This is a short documentary highlighting what we six in Kenya are doing to preserve the environment. circles, fixated on the small area of sand under their feet as a tsunami races towards the shore. 101 degrees Fahrenheit, it's the hottest day ever recorded. It is our fault. Of course, worried about global warming. Why didn't we save ourselves when we had the chance? The world has changed since the dawn of mankind. What world would you like to live in? Over 200 million gallons of crude oil was spilled in the Gulf of Mexico. Cars release approximately 333 million tons of carbon dioxide annually. 14 billion pounds of garbage are dumped into the ocean every year. Over 1 million seabirds and sea mammals are killed by pollution every year. Two-thirds of the world's fish population is under threat. 46% of the world's trees have been cut down in the last 1,200 years. Because of climate change, 100,000 forest fires in the U.S. take place every year. Some countries erect polluting power stations and factories as quickly as one a week. These problems are also present on a local national level in our country. Car exhaust fumes contribute to 40% of air pollution in urban areas, which is worse in African countries including Kenya due to the outdated second-hand vehicles, frequent traffic jams and a lack of public transport investment. Moreover, approximately 15,000 Kenyans die every year from health conditions due to an indoor air pollution. Although Kenya is making some positive strides, for example, being one of the countries that only allows low sulfur fuels or the 60% more efficient outdoor cooking stove developed by Ruiru Community Project, more needs to be done. When Gary Mathai was the founder of the Green Belt Movement and the 2004 Nobel Peace Prize laureate, she and the Green Belt Movement were the subject of a documentary film, Taking Root, the Greenbelt movement uses a watershed-based approach to restore degraded watersheds of key water catchments so as to improve their functions and improve their livelihood of the local communities. Since 1977, GBM communities have planted over 51 million trees in Kenya. These are our five R's for eco Sikhism. Reduce, reuse, Recycle, Restore and Respect We reduce our usage by only putting enough water in the kettle, by not brushing with water running and we use environmentally friendly blue bags instead of plastic ones. Reusing This is an economical way for people to acquire items. For example, Jars and pots for household tasks, passing down clothes to younger siblings, scrap paper for reprinting and writing, and even reusing old cloths for decorations. We also recycle our waste water to water the plants. There are no systematic recycling facilities in Kenya but we have borrowed the idea from countries that do. In our house, we have created our own recycling bins, which we take to one of the very few recycling points in Nairobi. Carpentry and mechanics runs deep in our Punjabi blood. We are always looking for opportunities to restore damaged items. Global warming causes flooding and trees and animals dying. If, if we plant a tree today, we'll, we'll all increase the amount of oxygen and decrease the amount of greenhouse gases. Why do you Kasa. big tree planting activity was at the 2014 Smogam where we planted over 200 trees in the community. 
I believe in planting trees wherever and whenever we can because woodland destruction is evident all around us. important part of restoring and respecting Mata Taj Mahat. To mark this occasion, we are planting, how many trees are we planting here today? Uh, I was told it was going to be 150, but somehow it's come up to 300. Uh, yes, so I hope it's not anymore, and I hope all my volunteers do turn up. So please <laughs> do turn up. And, uh, Respecting the environment is more than just going on a safari. We have been actively involved in litter picking and even giving thanks to Waigu for the beautiful planet he has given to us. However, tree planting is not enough. The threat to animals is so high that the United Nations made this year's World Environment Day all about animals. We in Kenya know too well the tragedies endangered species suffer at the hands of irresponsible humans. So what can we do? What can you do? Think about the environment, the wildlife, in every aspect of your life. For example, buy gifts that support the environment. Help others plant trees in imaginative ways. 
Think outside the box for birthday presents. Work out your carbon footprint online and see how you can reduce it. When you take a flight, offset the carbon. Be an ethical consumer. Look for products that have a green stamp. Support causes such as ocean cleanup. Join activist groups like Greenpeace. You never know what you will achieve. We don't inherit the earth, but we borrow it from our children. We can make a difference!